to London. London. So we are here on a whirlwind adventure, folks, because we only have less than 12 hours left, I yeah, think, not a lot of time. here in the city. But we have currently arrived at the London Victoria Station. We took the express train from Gatwick Airport, which is where we landed, and we are taking you on our whirlwind little adventure. We have a few hours of sunlight left. We have a hefty-ish yes. um, agenda, and we're gonna be walking these streets and seeing the biggest highlights, and we hope we get up to it all. I'm so excited. This is gonna be fantastic. <laughs> it's already just been a little jaw-dropping coming in on the train and looking at all the English countryside and the houses and the thatched roofs. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're driving downtown, foot pushed on the pedal. Move to songs we play together. Be like we're on holiday. I got a feeling it's a good day. We're driving downtown, foot pushed on the pedal. Okay, guys, so the first stop we're making at was a quick, I don't know, 10 minute walk? Yeah. And we're outside Buckingham Palace. Like, this is like so surreal. Oh my God. Like, I, I do have a yeah. bit of goosebumps. This is yeah. pretty amazing. This was built back in the 1700s and it was bought by King George, I believe, at the time and for a private residence. And I think ever since, it's basically housed the royal family and all the amazing activities. And there's so much to take in. We're across the road. We're gonna go across. We're gonna get some shots of the guards. Oh my God, let's do it. <laughs> okay, this is so <laughs> amazing. Okay. We're going across the street. So the only thing that would make this better is if you could time it to see the changing of the guards. We're here on a Tuesday, the changing of the guards does not happen. I will look up the days, we'll put a little link in the description below that explains when the changing of the guard happens. It's at 11 a.m. and I believe, I wanna say it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. There's like two or three days where it doesn't happen. So check the schedule if you're gonna be in London. I think it would be the coolest thing to see. We're not gonna be able to see that today, but that's okay. We have to keep going. Next, we're headed to Westminster. of London Abbey. The bells were ringing like crazy there, so we did not stop and say anything, but we've got lots of pictures of that for you. We also did not go inside because we are very much on a time Very short on time. <laughs> time budget. However, after you see Westminster Abbey, make your way to Westminster Bridge. That's where we're standing now. You're gonna have beautiful views of Big Ben that we walk past arriving here. And then again, from the bridge, you can see the Thames River if you want to. I wish we had time. I would love to take one of the Thames River cruises because you would just see all of these sights of London from the water. And from here, we can also see the London Eye, which we're not gonna do. It's a very expensive um, thing to do. And we're trying to hit up fast and free here in London today for you folks. Um, but we have beautiful views of the London Eye that we'll show you now. Another hot tip, if you don't wanna do like a hop on hop off bus, but maybe it's rainy or maybe you just want to um, get a ride around instead of walking. I understand that Route 11, if you get on the double-decker bus, is not only a fun way to see London, but it apparently passes most of your highly coveted tourist destinations and big major sites in London. And I've seen them going over here on the Westminster Bridge. Can't tell you where the stops are, but if you can find that Route 11 and you want to take a tour, I've heard that is an amazing bus to take. And of course it's free, or not, it's not free, but it's it's much cheaper taking the public transport than like a hop-on, hop-on bus. Here 
There seems to be a lot of pubs and we are extremely hungry and dying to try some English fish and chips. So we're gonna go find that next. We have made our way to Mr. Bob's. Um, anyway, we have ordered the classic English specialties, which is our fish and chips. They were 18 pounds or maybe 18 and a half pounds. And we got ourselves a scotch egg and that was nine pound 50. So we're just having a little classic outdoor cafe experience here in downtown London. I can't wait to dig it. Okay. So I believe this is usually eaten as like a snack, but we had to try it because it's an English classic. I always thought it was from Scotland. My bad. It's actually a uh, English treat. <laughs> Pretty good snack, eh? That's really, really good. I love the ham. <laughs> and this is chutney. It's really good. Our fish comes with like a tartar sauce, lemon, and then this green sauce I've never seen. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have to ask about it or we're gonna Google it later, but I'm so excited to dig in. First authentic fish and chips ever. We're gonna go dig in. We're gonna eat these fish and chips and we'll come back and tell you how they tasted when we're done. So we just finished up our dinner at Mr. Fogg. We had our first official English fish and chips and we were super surprised by actually how delicious they were. The batter on the fish is like nice and thin and crispy and not soggy and greasy. That coating stayed crisp through the entire meal and the chips as you saw were like super fat and super potatoey came with crushed peas which we had never had they had a bit of a mint flavor they were delicious or mushy peas we also had that scotch egg which we showed you and that was delicious we're just now making our way across town we have probably a 45 minute walk which we can do because we just had all those fish and chips and we kind of accidentally came across Covent garden market which would have been a really cool place to eat too. <laughs> so definitely come and walk through. There's tons of pubs and different things here and it's just super cute. in London and you're not alone if like us you might have thought that Tower Bridge was London Bridge we really did honest to god it was like a week ago where I realized when we were deciding what to do in London we realized that this bridge that we see in pictures is actually called Tower Bridge not London Bridge and it is very spectacular one thing that we are noticing though is we've made the walk here and on our approach we sort of came across the bridge we now need to go find a good spot to see it from a proper distance <laughs> and you can pay to go up yes. in the bridge it's 13 pound 40 uh, we're not going to do that we just don't have enough time on our uh, short layover however it's a really really cool bit bridge it was opened in like 1894 and yeah you've got a glass bottom floor to yeah. go up to do the viewing up top um, also there is a schedule online that you can find out when they open the bridge if that's something you're interested in watching a big ship come through the bridge the schedule is actually online there were no boots boots boats <laughs> <laughs> there are actually no boats that we're going through today and there's actually none until friday so it doesn't open all that often mm -hmm. but on friday it looks like it opens quite a few times so just another thing to do again i would say i wish we had time to do a river cruise because we would see this 
from the water mm -hmm. and it would be spectacular. But I think we're gonna go try and find a spot to just give you a nice view sure. of Tower Bridge from the proper distance, but we're also gonna walk across it. Okay, well, our final stop, Tower Bridge. It was a great finale. Kind of wanted to see this during the day, but it does not disappoint at night. Not at all. It's not gorgeous. At all. Come to the opposite side from the Tower of London. The Tower of London sits on one side of the Thames. If you come across, there is a beautiful, big, wide promenade where you can get these awesome views of Tower Bridge for what looks like um, maybe a few kilometers. It goes on for a while. <laughs> it's really big and there's lots of people down here and there's some restaurants. So this was an awesome spot and I'm glad we came. And you also get a much better view of the palace. Oh yeah, like um, Tower of London, which is not really a tower, um, really old. That would also be another really interesting thing to go in yeah, and see, sure. I think. Even looking at it from the outside though, like us, if you only have a few hours, definitely come down because you get to see Tower of London and Tower Bridge. So I think we accomplished all of this in... Five hours. That's pretty good, guys. Okay, that doesn't count transportation, I don't think. But we're gonna tally it all up for you. Um, okay, no, we left no. the airport at 2.44. Yep, and it's eight o'clock, so basically it, five it's hours. it's actually 7.46. Yep. Um, so we do still have to get back to the airport. So, I mean, that's gonna be probably another hour and a half because we're so far taking the tube into Gatwick and we will lay all of that out for you um, in the description, just sort of the route we took because I feel like we squeezed a lot in in five hours. We did, and there's so much more to see. London is a beautiful city, so much history, the architecture and everything. And we wish we had a week to spend in London, <laughs> uh, but we we'll don't, be back. we'll definitely be back. Because there's so much to see and do here. So one last thing, if we had a little bit more energy and we had like another hour of us to give, <laughs> We would probably go seek out the Sky Garden. It's supposed to have amazing views of London. That is another amazing free thing to do. I did not book us tickets because I wasn't sure what time we would want to be down here, but tickets are free. So you can actually just book to go through the Sky Garden. Um, it will save you the cost of going in the London Eye, which I think is almost 40 pounds yeah, a person. Quite a bit. Um, also the Shard, you can go and see sights from the top of that. Um, I think the Sky Garden would be the way to go. <laughs> yeah, we like free. Yeah. The other thing that we thought we would do is there are a couple of bars and restaurants, I think, in there, and we were mm -hmm. gonna go in and maybe just get a drink because we couldn't get a free ticket today. Um, so just something to think about. If you're coming to London, book that free ticket to the Sky Garden. Uh, save yourself a lot of pounds. Um, For sure. At the other sites. So anyway. we hope you enjoyed our whirlwind layover in London. We have a very early flight. We have to be at the airport for 4 a.m. and we're flying to Montenegro, Couture to be more specific. So we're <laughs> super stoked about that. So our next video will be coming from Couture. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.